And first tonight, a man who murdered his 11-year-old child at their Derbyshire home has been ordered to serve at least 21 and a half years in prison. Michael Harrison tried to cover his tracks by claiming that his son Mikey had fallen out of a tree. Well, today, Derby Crown Court heard how Mikey could actually have been saved if Harrison had called an ambulance more quickly. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, reports. Harrison went crazy, the judge said today, losing his temper, lashing out at Mikey forcefully and repeatedly. But it was almost four hours before he called an ambulance. And that delay was to set up a cover story. Cameras caught Harrison driving his van from the house they were renting in Hina. When he did eventually call paramedics, his son was found in the passenger seat, struggling to breathe. Harrison claimed he'd heard Mikey falling from a tree while they were playing hide and seek in Shipley Country Park, but it was all a complete lie. Now, when Harrison came into the dock today, we could see him wearing a T-shirt that said the word family, but jailing him for life, Judge Sean Smith KC said, what you did ended the life of a little boy and emptied the lives of others. All they have left is memories. The judge said Harrison's crime was aggravated by his failure to get prompt medical attention and by his elaborate attempt to evade justice, he stripped their rented home in Hina to destroy the evidence. And after sentencing, we have this statement from Derbyshire Police. Mikey Harrison was killed by the very person that he should have been the safest with, his own father. Michael Harrison has never given an account for why he killed Mikey, but his conduct on the day of the tragic events makes it abundantly clear that his primary interest was his own freedom and not the life of his own son. The fact that Mikey's life was tragically cut short at the hand of someone who was meant to love and care for him is heartbreaking and unfathomable. It has left his family utterly devastated. And today we also heard a tribute to Mikey in a very powerful victim impact statement. He was described as a sweet, funny little boy with an infectious laugh. He loved dancing and singing and teddies we heard. And as his dad was led down to the cells this afternoon, he turned to the public gallery and shouted defiantly, I will always love my family. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Derby.